Dan Bader and I'm here to introduce Fishing Abilities Inc. and Dan's fishing system. I broke my neck 31 years ago and became a quadriplegic as a result of falling out of a tree and I'd loved to fish ever since I was old enough to hold a pole. So after I became a quadriplegic I had to learn to find a new way to fish. So we found an electric fishing reel and uh, Put a rod holder on, made an adjustment where I could work the reel with my head, but since then we've made multiple adjustments to the reel to allow variable speed, uh, set the hook, and recently uh, my friend Ken Stelmazek added a twitch to the rod holder, and uh, basically we decided to start Fishing Abilities Inc which is a non-profit organization to allow us to reproduce this and hopefully get some good contributions where we'll be able to distribute Dan's fishing system to other people like me and allow them to fish again also. All that being said, uh, we will show you now what Dan's fishing system looks like and how it operates. Uh, first part, if Ken, you want to show them the headrest, please. <coughs> First part is a headrest, and this can be modified for uh, people to, that would use it differently, but this is how I like my setup. It starts off with a twitch mechanism on the left side. The back side is a button that I hit to set the hook. And the right side is a variable speed control for the reel. And uh, we'll put this on the chair and then move on to the next part. said we're looking at other options of different types of switches for different people because I know being a quadriplegic for 31 years that no two disabilities are the same. Next piece is the whammer slammer which is the rod holder slash hook setter. Um, it mounts on the chair. uses compressed air, which you'll see shortly, along with a 12 volt battery, which operates both the hammer slammer and the reel. Well, for the 12 volt battery, I'm kind of leaning towards this sealed acid small battery with really no problems. You wouldn't have a problem carrying this in a backpack if, uh, as we planned, I come up with a one-arm fishing system. Um, hopefully it has enough capacity. Uh, we're still playing around with this, but this is what we're going to use for today. And as Ken mentioned, uh, using a one-arm system. With Fishing Abilities Inc., we're hoping to do more than just this Dan's fishing system. We're hoping to do a one-arm system, possibly set up a different reel, um, smaller, lighter reel than what I'm using right now for someone with one arm who could bump the rod. For people like me with being a quadriplegic, I need this Electromate reel which uh, has enough power to bring in a fish without having to pump the rod. Uh, what Ken has just plugged in is a modified scuba tank which gives us the air to set the hook. <coughs> and we're using this Electromate reel which has worked out excellent. It is the bottle 450 BTH you want to check it out on electromate.com. Uh, Carl Huffman, who is the owner of Electromate, came up with this reel with uh, a little bit of my assistance, telling him what he needed to incorporate in a spinning reel, and it has been fantastic. As the old reel I used to use prior to this, uh, they discontinued and Carl saved me by coming up with this one. 
All that being said, are we uh, hooked up again? You're active. All right, I'll start with showing you the variable speed on the reel, which I push the button on the right side, it starts off slow. All the way to full speed. This makes it nice for fishing with artificial baits. You can crawl them slow, whatever. And again, with using artificial baits, then I can also just kind of twitch the rod, which is not turned on. Can air should be on. Oh, yeah, I forgot something. One more plug. Good help is hard to find these days. That's true. There you go. All right. There's my twitch. So. That's nice as it allows, it's something I've always wanted since I've been able to fish. Uh, before, you know, you could just had to operate the baits by moving it with the reel, and now with the twitch I can, as you can see, operate the rod more like an uh, able-bodied person. Then when I get a bite, there's also the slam, which I hit and start reeling. Another nice feature that Ken has added, as you see in the video, is the rod slowly drops now. Whereas before, when I slammed the rod to set the hook, the rod would drop just as fast as what came back. And that would leave slack line in the, uh, before I started to reel, and a lot of fish would get off that way. Now with this slow drop, that kid was as added for me. I'm able to tighten the, keep the line tight as the rod drops after I slam the reel, thus keeping the fish on. Not saying they never get off, but then again, they get off for average people also. So we've been field testing this all summer, just to make sure everything is going to work right, and uh, it's it's pretty amazing when I see Dan fishing and I'm not looking at him or looking at the wheelchair or looking at anything else when I'm watching what he's doing with the bobber or the bait or anything else that he's using I can't tell the difference between what I'm doing and what he's doing uh, so this system works very well as far as being able to duplicate what uh, I could possibly do with uh, with my baits so uh, it's it's really fun to watch Dan have fun with this Unfortunately, someone still has to cast out for me and take the bait, fish off, you know, once we get it to the boat, bring it in the boat, take it off, but other than that, I'm able to do just about everything that anybody else can do, as Ken mentioned, so it has been a lifesaver to me, it has been allowed me to get out and fish with her like everyone else. Um, I'm fortunate enough to have a 16-foot pontoon boat where I can get out and get her um, but you can just easily fish from shore or pier or anything else. I've done all. So, that being said, we will be at uh, America's Outdoor Hunting and Fishing Show in Rosemont, Illinois, with uh, put on by Jim. What's his name? Sugarman. Jim Sugarman. He's the new owner of America's Outdoor Show, and uh, we will be there from. January 27th to the 31st. Come check us out. And you can also check us out at fishingabilities.com. Thanks. We'll be on, uh, we'll be at booth 613 at the show. So uh, come see us. We'll have some fun. I'll put on uh, a pretty good show up there. We'll have a, uh, a trolling setup for Dan um, where, where he'll have three of these and be able to control everything with one headset. So uh, that should be a lot of fun. Look forward to meeting a lot of you people. So uh, have a great day.